Now to the latest on the war in Ukraine and a big military defeat for the Russians. Ukraine sending a legendary warship to the bottom of the Black Sea. CBS 2's Tony Aiello is here now with the very latest. Tony. Alice, this was a warship named for the Russian capital city, Moscow. Tonight, the fate of its crew is unknown, but a Pentagon official confirms Ukrainian missiles sank it. Given the death and damage Russia is inflicting on Ukraine, you can imagine the morale boost after the sinking of the Russian warship Moskva, bristling with weapons and staffed by almost 500 sailors. Ukraine reportedly confused the ship's defenses with drones and then used Neptune missiles to sink it. President Zelensky spoke with CNN about sending the ship to the bottom of the sea. The less weapons the Russian Federation that attacked our country has, the better for us. The less capable they are. This is important. This is a big blow to the Black Sea Fleet. Uh, this is a cruiser, a very, very capable warship with almost 500 sailors on board uh, and, a, and a key part of their efforts to ex execute some sort of na naval dominance in, in the Black Sea. So this is going to have an effect on their capabilities. The Russians continue to pound major cities, including Mariupol, and new attacks on Kyiv, where the civilian death toll now has reached 900. The U.S. is rushing weapons and supplies to Ukraine, including material shipped from Joint Base mcguire dix Lakehurst in New Jersey and Dover AFB in Delaware. A Putin regime warning about unpredictable consequences for supplying Ukraine, not slowing down the effort. We need to continue to squeeze them in every way we can, not only by sending all the weapons to the Ukrainians that they need, uh, but to uh, imply every sanction we can think of to, to, to squeeze them economically as well. Russia lost a warship but is on the verge of winning the battle for Mariupol, a major port in southeast Ukraine. The regional governor says virtually everything in the city has been destroyed by the Russians. Dick Alice. Tony, thank you.